The movie opens up with Norm Snively, a part-time clown, preparing for a kid's birthday party. He takes his pet golden retriever, Bud, and locks him in a cage in the back of his truck. At the party, Snively's clown act doesn't go well, and the children aren't enjoying it. In an attempt to salvage the situation, Snively involves Bud in a ball game. Bud impressively catches the balls thrown by Snively, entertaining the audience. However, when Snively tosses a larger ball, Bud heads it back, accidentally knocking Snively down. This infuriates Snively, and he starts chasing Bud, causing chaos and ruining the party. As a result, the birthday child's mom kicks Snively out and refuses to pay him. Frustrated and upset, Snively decides to quit his job as a party clown and even contemplates abandoning Bud. He puts Bud back in the cage and drives toward a nearby pond. Unbeknownst to Snively, he hasn't secured the back of his truck trailer, causing the cage to slide and reach to the edge when he drives over a bump. During the journey, the cage falls out of the truck, but Bud is unharmed. Some nearby cows witness the fall, and Bud remains trapped inside. Suddenly, a new family that recently moved to the area accidentally hits the cage with their car. This strikes open the cage and lets Bud out. The young boy in the car, Josh, notices the dog and wants to help, but his mother advises him to get back in the car and continue their journey as they're getting late. After the family drives by, Bud feels lost and unsure of what to do. Sad and alone, he starts wandering along the road and eventually finds an old run-down house where he seeks shelter from the rain. On the other side, Josh and his family arrive at their new home, and our boy begins to explore it. Sadly, we learn that Josh recently lost his pilot father in a crash and is struggling to cope with the trauma. His mother Jackie is taking care of him and working to support the family. The following day, Jackie takes Josh to his new school and talks to the principal about his interests and academics. She mentions that her son loves to play basketball. After a dull day at school, Josh returns home and notices a dilapidated house on his way. He looks through the wooden fence and sees an old basketball court. Without wasting time, he jumps over the fence and starts playing basketball alone. The sound of the basketball hitting the ground catches Bud's attention and he barks with excitement while cautiously watching the boy. He's not sure if the boy is friendly, so he hesitates to approach. Josh notices Bud's poor condition and offers him some dessert, placing it on the ground. Bud, who hasn't eaten for days, eventually lets his guard down and starts eating the dessert. Josh notices that Bud's clothes are torn and tries to help, but Bud is scared and runs into the bushes. The next morning, Josh returns to the house, clears the weeds, and arranges more desserts in a row. As he expected, Bud comes out of his hiding place and slowly eats them all. Bud then looks at the basketball Josh has in his hand, showing interest in playing. Even though Bud hasn't played basketball in a while, he's eager to join in. They start playing, and Bud surprises Josh with his basketball skills, hitting the ball back accurately and even engaging in stealing the ball. Seeing this, Josh realizes Bud's talent and decides to adopt him. Following this, when Josh returns home, he secretly takes Bud with him. His first task is to give Bud a bath before his mother arrives. However, Bud is very scared of bathing and refuses to cooperate. Josh attempts to lift him into the bathtub, but is too weak. Then, Josh has an idea. He throws a basketball into the bathtub because he knows Bud loves it. When Bud sees the ball, he quickly jumps into the water, allowing Josh to clean and dry him with a vacuum cleaner. After a while, when our boy is spraying perfume on Bud, Jackie returns from work. Josh then quickly leaves Bud in his room, asking him to stay inside and offers to help her with the groceries. Jackie is surprised to see his behavior and asks for the reason. Right then, Bud spots the basketball and chases it. Unfortunately, he misses, and the ball bounces into a room with paint. While trying to catch the ball, Bud accidentally knocks over buckets of paint, covering himself, Josh, and Jackie in paint. Jackie is not happy and warns Josh to take Bud outside the house. Afterward, Josh goes outside and posts lost dog notices everywhere to find Bud's real owner. However, Bud tears them down, and Josh realizes that Bud doesn't want to leave. So, he makes a makeshift kennel out of a cardboard box, 
which Bud is content with since they both love playing basketball. However, during the night, Bud secretly sneaks into Josh's room. The next morning, when the newspaper is delivered in front of the house, Bud notices it and jumps out of the window to fetch it. Instead of taking it inside and giving it to Jackie, he takes the newspaper away and hides it. Later, Jackie comes out in search of the missing newspaper and is surprised not to find it around. After a few days of living together, Bud realizes that Josh cares for him. The duo practice basketball together every day, and Josh also helps the school basketball team as a manager, doing tasks like assisting during games and handling their laundry. One day, while doing the laundry of the team, Josh stumbles upon an engineer's room and meets Arthur Cheney, a former famous basketball player. However, when Josh asks for an autograph, Arthur pretends not to be the basketball player. Later in the evening, Josh spots Arthur practicing basketball alone, confirming his true identity. The following day, the two boys from the school basketball team transfer to another school, leaving Coach Barker in need of new players. He discusses this with Arthur. Subsequently, Josh receives a letter in his school locker inviting him for a private basketball tryout. It turns out the basketball team wants to assess his skills before officially adding him to the team. Later, at the old basketball court near their home, Josh sits feeling down, contemplating whether to participate in the tryout. Bud approaches and encourages Josh to play basketball, but he is hesitant. Josh eventually decides to give up on the sport and tosses the basketball aside. To his surprise, Bud follows the ball and makes an incredible shot, scoring a basket. This astonishes Josh, who tries again, and Bud seizes the right moment to make another shot. Seeing this, Josh gains courage and motivation, starting to practice with Bud. Afterward, Josh arrives at the school basketball court for the tryouts. Despite some teasing from the team members, he scores a basket, impressing Coach Barker and securing a spot on the team, which makes him very happy. On the day of the game, Josh is on the bench as a substitute. When one of the players, Stuart, makes a mistake, the coach calls on Josh to join the game. Jackie is there to support her son, but little does she know that Bud has also slipped out of the house and made his way to the court. When Bud spots Josh on the court with the ball, he hurries to assist, interrupting the game. However, Bud's basketball rolls away, so he jumps on it. The referee stops the game with a whistle, but the dog's basketball skills help him avoid capture. He dribbles and weaves through everyone, ultimately passing the ball to Josh. He heads the ball in Josh's hands and scores a crucial point, securing the team's place in the finals and leading to cheers from the audience. Even Josh's mother apologizes to Bud for blaming him earlier. The school principal is thrilled and invites Bud to an exhibition game to put on a skill show as a mascot. In a surprising turn, Bud rushes to the basketball court again, revealing Coach Barker humiliating Stewart for losing the ball earlier in the game. Due to his abusive behavior, Coach Barker is removed from his position. The next day at school, Josh talks to the principal and suggests a new coach for the team, which the principal agrees to. To everyone's surprise, Arthur is assigned as a new coach, and he instantly begins the training of the kids. From then on, Bud trains with Josh daily, and they develop a strong bond. The scene then shifts to another basketball game, where the star player Larry plays selfishly, which Arthur dislikes. Arthur warns him a few times, but when Larry doesn't listen, Coach Arthur decides to remove him from the team and lets Josh take his place. Enraged, Larry's father takes his son away from the court. Later in the game, with only five seconds left, the ball is in Josh's hands and he's responsible for making the shot. However, he struggles to make a decision in time and misses the basket, causing his team to lose. After the game, Coach Arthur approaches the dejected Josh and emphasizes the importance of teamwork, urging him to pass the ball to other players when faced with difficult situations. Later on, Bud's old owner Snively sees Bud's performance on TV and decides he wants Bud back. He shows up at Josh's house early one morning, showing Josh's mother some photos he took with Bud. Snively claims that he had raised Bud since he was a child, so he believes he has the right to take him away. Jackie, after seeing the information, doesn't know how to stop him. 
Just then, Josh returns with Bud, and the dog becomes scared when he sees his former owner, Snively. Josh tries desperately to stop Snively from taking Bud away, but the latter is determined. He puts Bud in a cage and rudely tells Josh that he'll never see Bud again. Devastated, Josh goes into his room and watches helplessly as his best friend is taken away. One day, Josh misses Bud deeply and decides to rescue him. He somehow finds the clown's location and goes to a place to search for his dog. Luckily, while peeking through a fence, he spots Bud tied up outside. Bud also gets excited when he smells Josh's scent and tries to run towards him. At the same time, Snively is negotiating a price with a dog butcher. Josh takes this chance to secretly approach Bud and untie the chain, although he struggles. Unfortunately, Snively notices Josh and becomes angry, abandoning his phone call and rushing out. Fortunately, Josh manages to pull the chain with force, causing water to spray out and knocking Snively to the ground. Our boy then quickly releases Bud from the fence and they make their escape. Snively is determined not to let his valuable possessions get away and angrily pursues them. Unfortunately for Snively, his car loses control while chasing after Bud and crashes through the barriers, falling into the ocean. This accident finally liberates Bud from his former owner's torment. Following this, to make sure Snively can't recapture Bud, Josh decides to leave him on an island. He takes Bud to the island, leaves his favorite dessert, and kisses him, telling him that he's free now. However, Bud seems hesitant to leave Josh. Eventually, Josh takes a basketball from his bag and throws it, leading Bud to follow it. Using this opportunity, our boy quickly boards the boat and leaves the island. Bud senses that something is wrong and turns back, but it's too late. Josh has already left on the boat, and Bud barks loudly, seemingly begging Josh not to leave him behind. Seeing Bud's distress, Josh can only cry helplessly, because he knows that if Bud is taken back, Snively will surely reclaim him. The scene then shifts to the basketball finals, and Josh is not in good shape. His teammates are all injured, leaving everyone in a difficult situation. Coach Arthur does his best to motivate the team, but the boys are struggling. Surprisingly, Larry has joined the opponent's team and is playing against his former teammates. Josh and his team have lost their focus and are losing badly by a significant margin. Suddenly, Bud rushes onto the basketball court, running as fast as he can. Nobody knows how Bud came from the island, but he just wants to play alongside Josh. Everyone is thrilled to see Bud there, and they share an embrace on the basketball court. Coach Arthur then suggests that Bud replace an injured player, but the referee is hesitant because he's never seen a dog play before. The coach explains that Bud is a team member and is qualified to replace the injured player, and the referee reluctantly agrees. The game continues, and Bud quickly steals the ball as soon as he joins the game. He passes it to Josh, who scores a successful shot, bringing their team closer in points. The score on the screen keeps getting closer, and the opponents start losing confidence because of Bud's great play. As the game nears its end, Josh has the ball with only four seconds left on the clock. After a moment of uncertainty, he throws the ball, and it miraculously goes in. The crowd goes wild, and even the referees can't believe it. Josh's team wins the tournament by just one point. But right at that moment, Snively returns and threatens Josh to hand over Bud or face a lawsuit. Josh is no longer afraid and refuses. Jackie also stands by her son and refuses to give Bud back to Snively. The scene then shifts to the courtroom, where the judge is unsure about how to make a decision because it's the first time he's had to rule on a case involving a dog. Following Arthur's suggestion, the judge eventually decides to let Bud make the choice. Bud is placed in the middle, and he can run to whoever he considers his master. Bud looks at the newspaper in Snively's hand and slowly walks over. Just when Josh thinks Bud is going to choose his former owner, Bud surprises everyone by biting the newspaper out of Snively's hand and tearing it to pieces. The movie ends with Bud returning to Josh and hugging him tightly.